Good afternoon, students, parents and teachers. Welcome to our last assembly of the year. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land which we meet today. I would also like to pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. Miss Howard. So this week I'm giving the award to the whole grade. Well done, well done JH on a fantastic performance for your concert item. You did an absolutely amazing job doing it in just one take. And I know Mrs Howard would be very proud of you all. Well done. The learner of the week in JL this week is going to someone who has had a great start to school at Kyla West. She always put lo puts lots of effort into all of her learning and completes it with a big smile on her face. And it was great to see her work really hard during the concert performance. So fantastic effort, Violet McKenzie. Learner of the week in JN this week is everyone actually this week because we have done such a great job during the year. They've all worked as a team. They've all worked well together. They've actually looked after each other. They've helped each other with all the times that they've been at school. So well done, JN. The Learner of the Week in JRP goes to somebody who's not just had a great week or just a great term, he's had a fantastic year in 2020. I'm super proud of all of his efforts he's put into each of his learning areas, reading, writing and maths and his positive attitude in his learning. Well done to Cody Powell. Okay, the learners in JC this week um, goes to my whole class, JC, for an amazing year. They have done an amazing job with their reading, writing and maths and I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Well done, JC. Hi everyone, the final learner of the week in MSW for 2020 goes to Molly Gilbert for her ability to push herself outside her comfort zone and tackle a range of challenges and tasks um, without any hassle. I've been super, super impressed with how she has gone about her ecosystem and how she's come across some challenges and then found different ways to solve them. So congratulations, Molly, on a fantastic week. Okay, so the Learner of the Week is a little bit special this week in MTC. It actually goes to the whole of MTC, the whole class. Um, over the last few weeks, we've been working on our information reports all about a specific ecosystem. And as you can see, they've done a fantastic job making dioramas and also putting their information down onto paper. So have a bit of a look here. We have all their wonderful everything from farming to the marine ecosystem, all the way up to rainforest, wet forests, uh, the coastline, and all of the above. Also, a big shout out to Mrs. Kelly as well for supporting the students through this and giving them the skills to be able to create these wonderful dioramas. Congratulations, MTC, you've done a wonderful job. Alrighty, in MPS this week, the learner of the week is our whole class because we have done such a fantastic job at learning our concert dance and performing yesterday. Well done, everyone. Alright, Miss Howard's uh, learner of the week this week goes to her whole class for making her first year of teaching amazing and totally smashing 2020. Well done, SH. Alright, our last student of the week for 2020 goes to Ollie Marzella for having an awesome year. Well done, Ollie, and all the best for next year. The learner of the week in SV this week goes to some people that have done a fantastic job of creating our whole class dance, working on it themselves with very little help from me and really blitzing it today when we filmed it. Well done, SV. Congratulations to all our award winners. Um, and obviously this is our final assembly of the year. So great to hear all the, the positive things that the teachers have said about the children throughout the year. So well done to everyone on all the awards that people have won throughout this year. It's been a different year, but um, every year has different challenges. And um, I think our school's done really well as a group to get, uh, to get through to this point. Um, also today, we've got a bit of a special day for Mrs. Doonan, and it's her birthday. So we wish Mrs. Doonan a happy birthday. I'm sure she's enjoyed the day with lots of many best wishes. So enjoy celebrating that, Mrs. Doonan. Um, I would like to take this opportunity as our final assembly of the year just to thank our teachers for all their hard work and dedication to helping our children with their learning and also all of the children as well for their wonderful effort with their learning and just the way they conduct themselves at Kyla West. Um, I really do value all the work that people do at our school and we have such a beautiful environment out here. We are so lucky to have all the people involved in our school and the kids and the teachers are a really major part of that. So well done to everyone. Now, 
Um, now the other thing, next week we've got a couple of other excursions happening. So I know our prep to twos have got an incursion happening. So that'll be really good on the Wednesday. Our grade five and sixes, um, they've had a few changes with some of their dates for their excursion to the merch pool. I think that's all been finalised. I know the grade six graduation is now going to be on Monday night. So I look forward to seeing our grade sixes and our parents at that at Aquamoves. Um, and I know our three fours have got an excursion to Aquamoves on Wednesday. So everyone enjoy that next week. Um, it should be a really nice way to, to finish off the year. And, um, and obviously school finishes on Thursday. So we'll send all, all our books and everything home then. So have a great time with your learning up until that stage. Now, the next thing we've got is our terrific kit of the year. Now obviously Terrific Kid of the Year is someone who's pretty special. They've had a fantastic year and someone who has performed exceptionally well in not only academic areas but also in the social areas. This person continues to just show a really high level of um, application, you know, applying their skills the best they can in all, their, in all their classrooms. It's not just reading or maths or PE, it's every single subject this person tries their best in. Um, such a polite person. We're so delighted to have them at our school. This is a really well-deserved award. Um, a very caring person towards others. Um, and the award, the Terrific Kid of the Year, goes to Pia Tricky. Well done, Pia. Um, now, our next award is the Henry Holmes Award, which is, of course, an award that goes to a foundation child. And I'll hand over to Jess Holmes, who's going to present that. All right, thank you. Yeah, hi, I'm Jess Holmes here, and um, we're, I'm here to represent our family, which is um, Paul, Gretel, Billy, and Lockie, and Henry Holmes. Each year we present a, an award in the honour of our son Henry, who was a prep student at Kyla West Primary School in 2013. And a little bit about Henry is that he had cerebral palsy, so that meant that he couldn't walk or talk. Um, but that didn't stop him doing amazing things and achieving amazing friendships, especially with his prep buddies from 2013. Um, but sadly, Henry passed away on the second last day of prep. Um, so in his honour, with the help and support of Mr Teague, Mrs Howard and Mrs Press, we established an award, um, which is called the Henry Holmes A Friend Like You Friendship Award for a prep student, which um, for a prep student that shows great care and friendship to others. Um, we're very proud of this award as a family, um, so we'd like to thank the school, Mr Teague and the teachers um, for that support and we've also established a, memor a memorial for Henry as well at the school, which you might have seen, which is um, some friendship seats. So the story there is that if you ever need a friend, you know you can go over to those seats or you can go there with your friends as well um, and other people can see that if you need a friend they'll go over and support you. So with this award, um, we do, do a certificate and we also give a copy of Henry's book, favourite book, which is called A Friend Like You, which is a story about a monkey and a panda um, and just their journey in developing their friendship. So it's a beautiful book. And this year's award, the Henry Holmes A Friend Like You Award 2020 is awarded to Thomas Gilby for showing great care and friendship to others. So Thomas, this certificate and this book is coming your way. Um, Mr Teague will pass that on to you. Um, so well done. This is a, a great honour for yourself and your family. Um, so yes, we're very proud of this. So we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and we'd like to thank Mr Teague for al allowing us to continue this award. Thank you. Thanks Jess and congratulations Thomas. Well deserved award there. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate our grade sixes on a fantastic year and wish all of our graduating grade sixes all the best. So thank you very much to the grade sixes for all their work this year and they've been excellent leaders throughout our school. Now we'll have the national anthem so everyone can stand up and get ready for that and we'll hand over to that. All right, have a good year everyone and we'll see you next year. Bye. Australians all and us rejoice for we are young and free with gold and soil and wealth that our home is girl by seas our land's about ten nations gives our beauty rich and rare in history straits at every stage advanced Australia fair in joyful straits and land.
Advance the